Chip wall staggered is a non-load bearing stud partition incorporating a single framework with staggered studs. This provides very high levels of sound insulation with minimal footprint. It is suitable for a wide range of applications including student accommodation, hotels and offices where the optimal balance of acoustic performance and partition width are required. This video is to demonstrate the stud installation into the 92mm iStud framework with 148mm channel combination. There is also a 60mm iStud 72mm channel combination available. The head detail being demonstrated is a plus or minus 25mm deflection head detail. The dropped soffit is formed from a double layer of 25mm Glassrock F firecase or 50mm deep timber section, 148mm wide to match the width of the 148 EDC80 channel. Jiprock fire strip is applied onto the channel. Glassrock F firecase is then fixed to the channel at 300mm staggered centre fixings. With a further layer applied, making it 50mm in thickness. A further strip of Jiprock fire strip is applied before the head channel is fixed into position. Once the floor and ceiling track is fixed in place, 146 S50 metal studs are installed at wall abutments, doorways and external corners. Ensure the stud is 25mm short from the top of the channel to allow for the 25mm downward deflection. The wall abutment stud is fixed at 300mm with staggered fixings. Once the 92mm eye studs have been cut to length, the SC2 spacer clips need prefixing to the top of the stud with British gypsum waferhead jackpoint screws as demonstrated. Apply pressure onto the stud and bend slightly in either direction to aid the fixing of the SC2 clip to the stud. Clamps can also be used to hold the SC2 clip in place for the first fixing if required. The reason for fixing the SC2 clip to the stud eliminates the risk of disengagement once any upward or downward deflection is taken up in the partition. Ninety-two mm eye studs are installed at 300 mm centers staggered to either side of the channel as demonstrated. Apply Jiprock sealant to the wall perimeter. Note that Jiprock sealant is now supplied in foil sausages, as shown here. Once studs are in place, the partition is bordered with either a single or double layer of 12.5mm or 15mm Jiprock soundblock plasterboard. A double layer of 15mm Jiprock soundblock is demonstrated in this video. The base layer is fixed into the eye studs with 25mm British gypsum jackpoint screws around the perimeter of the board at 300mm centers and 200mm centers where external corners apply. When fixing into C studs, 25mm British gypsum drywall screws should be used. Make sure you don't put any fixings into the head track. If you do, the head track won't be able to deflect. Make sure GFS1 fixing strap is installed to pick up the board end fixings at 300mm centers for the face layer of Jiprock plasterboard. Fixings for the GFS1 and plasterboard should be 25mm below the bottom edge of the ceiling channel.
The face layer of boards are staggered from the base layer and then fixed into position with 42mm British Gypsum Jackpoint drywall screws at 300mm centres around the perimeter and down the centre of the board at 600mm. Fixings are again at 200mm centres where external corners apply. As for the base layer, when fixing into seat studs, 42mm British Gypsum drywall screws should be used. To provide optimum acoustic performance from the partition, GA4 closing angles can be installed to either side of the head detail. Taking a final look at the principle of how a deflection head works, we can see how the head detail is designed to move upwards, a term commonly known as plus or positive deflection, and then downwards, a term commonly known as minus or negative deflection. For the purpose of this video, the GA4 closing angles have been removed to aid clarity in seeing the movement of the deflection head. Showing the deflection taking place helps to demonstrate the importance of not installing any fixings into the head track. If you do, it won't work.